No joke in this intro, just Karen and her public freakouts, as always. Welcome to Completely Stupid, you know, the show about completely stupid people doing completely stupid things on the cameras in these clips where we watch them back with me, the Aussie host, the idiot who knows the most or doesn't really. <laughs> I don't know. Just trying to say some random things just to add long some 20 something seconds. Let's get into the clips. Here we have a classic interaction in a retail store with an angry person going off at staff members. Thank you. Five times you came to me, you do this and you go. When you come to help someone, you stay with him. You stay with them until they finish. It takes only five minutes. Look, I didn't have too much stuff. Yes, that's how it's supposed to do. I was people. helping others as well. No, you left me. When I told yes, you, it wasn't nobody. I was helping a guy and the no, other guy. No, you came to me, you had to. I'm done with you. you just leave the I'm store. Done with you. Get out. No, don't shut tell up. me to lose this. You Get shut out. up. You shut up. You are horrible. You shouldn't be working here. You are a horrible person. This that's definitely how you treat hum other human beings. Not with uh, respect, but by screaming and yelling at them when they get something wrong. Because that's how people learn how to be better and behave better as people, right? 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 No? I I'm wrong? Oh. Huh. Wouldn't have known. Here we have an interaction that clearly isn't the first time anything along these lines has actually happened. And, well, it's a bit of a funny one. You don't have to act like this. You don't have to scream and be crazy. You can be an, a normal person. You have my phone number. You can call me. To sit there and scream at, like, 20 different people is really absurd. And come on, man. You're a grown man. You need to act like it. Come on, dude. Hey, quit filming all the time, dude. You need to act like a grown man, dude. I'm filming everything. I'm filming you because you're acting like a crazy person. I'm not crazy. You were just crazy. screaming. You were screaming obscenities. You were screaming, hey, sir, you were just screaming, and now that I busted out the camera, you're acting normal. That's why I film, because it makes people like you act normal. Hey, all you have to do is call me, text me, ask nicely. You scream like that, I'm not going to help you. You have a good day, sir. Man, I really want to just see them screaming and swearing like a sailor about parked cars on the side of a road. Oh no, you have to drive around them and actually be aware of your surroundings and keep an eye on the road to make sure no one comes down the other way because you have to be careful. Oh no, it's the end of the world. Totally worth going off and screaming to nobody. Here we serve as an onlooker to a, a bit of a dispute happening in an airport because apparently something along the lines of this woman apparently did not pay for the taxi, it probably need to go inside to the ATM to get money out and decide to not pay the full cab fee, so are the guys not exactly happy about that? <laughs> I mean, I don't even know else what else to say to this one. It's just, uh, I've got nothing to this one if I'm completely honest. So uh, we're moving on. What are your thoughts? Comments down below. With this one, we get dropped in the middle of an argument between a staff member and what is apparently their manager at Walmart. Here we go. Very inappropriate. Many of you have you're not my co-worker. You're not my co-worker. You're talking about me you're to other co-workers. Co I never said you was my co-worker. Never said you was. 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 You just need to do your job for you. No, it's you need to do yours. I know you know, I was doing my job. Your job is to work for you in a timely manner. And it took you all night. It didn't and take me all night. It didn't take me all night. Then why you not finished? I'm done. What you mean why I'm not done? You're not finished. Done. How you finished? The freight is up. Is your, your stuff in the bin? Freight is up. No, it's not. Freight is up. Whatever. Freight is most definitely up. Bianca, Star refuses to leave out this office. Please come down. Cause I'm trying to see why you called me to the office from job. You shouldn't have, you literally you told me out your own minutes. mouth, come to the office. Now you're trying to call Miss Lonely here and make it seem like you never called me in here. 
Why would you call me in here if you didn't need me? Didn't I just tell you to go back to where you were supposed to be? Yeah, at? but it's not what you're doing is go how ahead. you're doing it. As a manager, you don't talk like that. You I don't talk however I want to talk. Okay. That's fine. That's not how you do stuff. And once you learn, I don't I know if you, you need more training. I gave you clear directions. I don't know if go you back need more training, your but that's not how you talk you to me. you still not that's not going how you back talk to your to area. I told you to step out the office. You that's not how you talk to nobody. I don't have to you talk have to, to you watch a certain way. You are I told manager. you where to go. No, sir. I told you to go finish your aisle. No, sir. You still left the but car. But why would you call there. me in here? Star, I'm not going why back and forth with you. Why call me here from jump if you never I'm not going me. back and forth with you, Star. You literally call me in here for nothing. You do every time. Last time you called me in here, had me waiting here for 20 minutes. And you ain't even coming here. here. You that day when Lona was on when the aisle. When you was going off on Lona. Who was when you going, going off on Lona? Lona. And she told you, that I had to tell you to be you quiet. You didn't have to tell me to be quiet about nothing. Nobody was quiet. going off. We were you having, we were communicating, we were conversing. You called her a liar. Who was who called her a liar? Uh, she ain't tell me the that. The situation don't matter, my love. Not get into an you literally, Miss Lona, don't even know what you're talking about. Miss Lona, do not know what you're talking about. Put your phone down. And she you don't know what you're talking about. Me. Put she your phone down. Put about. your phone down. Do not is, put your phone you in my face. You called me in the office last time and had me sitting in here for twenty to thirty minutes for no reason. I went back to the aisle, asked another manager what was going on. You keep on. talking about last time. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking I about didn't last write time. You this your third, okay, I'm, but you threatened to write me up. Because you're you telling me what you're not going to do. Every day you're the supervisor. You threatened right, to write star, me up. I'm not going back and forth That's with fine, you. That's fine. You already did it. I gave you clear direction. Go you finish your aisle. You gave I'm confused. I'm trying to see as a manager, why did you bring me in here? Go finish your aisle. I don't know how many times I have to say that. I could have been doing it. Why you finished? Why you brought me in here? I asked a simple question. You can't even answer that. I ain't about to answer it. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So when you call me in here, I'm going to listen to the first directions. I'm in here. I'm in here. Whatever. That's fine. You want to be big and bad? Yeah, so I can go like, oh, You. I need you to the ad office. Star refuses to leave the office and finish her aisle. Uh, no, you call me in here. Don't try to make it seem like I'm just in here. You call me in here. It does not matter. Why would you call me in here from John? You keep threatening to write me up. If you don't do it, do it. Do it the right way. What are you talking about? So what you call me for the office for, John? Come to the office. Why would you need a worker to come to the office? That don't mean I'm going to write you up. Why you why you? That don't mean I'm going to write you up. Why are you stopping me from going? Did I say I was writing you up? You just said I was late. Did I say I was writing you up? You just said that I did not complete my work in a timely manner. Did I say I was writing you up? And now all of a sudden, you're trying to play like you didn't call me to the office. Did I say I was writing you up? When did that came out of my mouth? That I was writing you up? Who said I was writing you up? John, it's Who right. said I was writing you up? That's your words came out of your mouth. I just wait for Miss Bianca to come in here. Please cause... wait for, because you're putting words in my mouth now. Right. And now you're being confrontational I'm with me. And I gave you clear direction. I'm, you say what you say. You can recall you know, whatever you want to record is on you. Say what I told you, you several times to go back to your aisle. Right. Right after you call me in here, I'm just asking you, why did you call me in here if you know I got work to do? You can't answer this. So it is what it is. You're still responsible for your aisle. Okay? That's fine. If it's not done. It's it's a big week off at seven o'clock. You know what time it is? You been supposed to be finished. Seven so o'clock. I gave you a certain time. You four never o'clock. what time you gave me? Everybody for You o'clock. never told me that. Never. You ain't even conversed with me. You didn't come check with me to come see how many pallets I had on my aisle. Why you didn't give me my time. Up? You didn't give me the time for my aisle. Why did I, you didn't come check on me not did. one time. I said you had two No, pallets. you did not. You said, Oh, I, two I had pallets. five cars. I, I told said, you how many you I had. How, how long did it take you to car. come to me though? We got here. We started work at I 10 o'clock. How long did it take for you to before do that? Before you even got on the aisle. Lies. Yes, I we did. We didn't even converse. They had three people I on that aisle. I didn't see a manager until about three, four hours Girl. after lunch. Okay. After lunch. Well, maybe because you can't ask me. After lunch. They, they, we come on your aisle and take the water off your aisle. You didn't come to my aisle and you didn't ask me about none of that. You didn't ask me nothing. And you found the water on the cart. You didn't ask me. I didn't find a water on the car, my yes, love. I went to the water aisle. I said somebody took my water. Said, water, off took off my water. That's the only conversation we had. But that, that, was, that was that was. That was. That was soon it as you walked in the aisle, that was an hour into. It. I'm just trying to see why I'm in here. I asked her several times to go back I'm and finish her aisle, and she refuses to leave out this office. No, he called me. He called me first of all. We were on the aisle. I had and some I told stuff go back to that was aisle. on the pallet. They had like tissue. They had uh, marshmallows and stuff at the bottom. And I, told her just I asked him what to do with it. He told me to go put it on the aisle. Miss Jolinda took the other items that went on uh, Fletcher's aisle. She took it, the items and gave them to Fletcher to put them up. He was just telling me about the stuff I got to do on my aisle. Why when I say, okay, I'm going to put this I'm gonna put this on the aisle, he's talking about some scans to see where it go. I said, marshmallows only go on one aisle. So I said, I remember to go bring it. Then he said, go put it up. 
why would you tell me to go put the stuff on the aisle and then double back and say go put it up? Because we tell you. And then you got mad. Any other items? You, but you telling me you telling me I've been taking long on my month. aisle. If it's just marshmallows and the person supposedly done on their aisle, they have people on there. So you gonna drop it off? You, you never see. He never said nothing today. And it's not what he's saying. It's how he's saying it. You told me come to the office. This is not the first time you've come to the you office. To you've been threatening about writing me up. Every time I come here, you threatening me about writing it up. It's not about what you say. It's how you say it. Okay. From from jump, like that's all I'm trying to say. All right, so yeah. it's not your first time doing it. All right. <sighs> if we tell you guys, hey, if you find some items that belongs to another owl, don't just place it on the owl. Put it up. Right? He, he told me place it on the owl. You put though. it on the pallet. He told, he told me play, it was already on the pallet. I never took it off. He told you me, it's, it's, it as a pallet. manager, we it's not about what, what he's was. doing, it's how he's doing it. Out. You don't talk to people how you talk to people. This is not outside of work is what I'm saying. If you want something done at the end of the day, I don't care how old I am. We are all human. We, we are all adults together. because at the same, at the end of the day, we are at this job. All right, so this is what's going on with both of y'all. To be honest with you, if you're asked to do something, you should just do it. Yeah, but it's Remember. not what you do. It's, it's how you do that's, it. That's, that's absolutely right. Because you don't want nobody talking to you crazy, right? right? That's absolutely yeah, right. I let you know. That's I said, store, right. I just need you to scan it and nah, put it on the car. You saying. took the box and threw it on the car and said, I'm not working it. That's what you say. I took the, the box and threw it on the car and said, I'm not working it. No, no, that is not how that went okay. down. No, that is not how that right. went down. All right. Sorry, I need you to go finish your house. Okay, so, so I'm just trying to see why, they, why did on, I get called in the office? Hold on, can you stop, what? stop, stop. Stop for a second, okay? All right, so you know why you really got pulled in the office? I I'm told confused. him to pull you to the side and find out what's going on with you. You know how many pallets you had today? And did y'all talk to Ms. Jolinda? I, I understand you. it. And I, mean, I explained to Ms. Jolinda why I was taking long. Obviously, y'all not communicating. Sorry, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You just said you told him to put me on the stop, side to talk to him. Stop it. I'm asking you what's going on. Well, on the Why aisle, they had many, 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 many items on the aisle that were none or did not belong out there. There were in spots, uh, uh, many of items that were in spots that did not belong. Okay. A lot of the items, even when the guy that was on my aisle, you have to move a million items just to put the stuff in there. And when I see Miss Jolinda walking, I had to, I, could, I can't keep walking around trying to look for y'all because there's not too many of y'all. Mm -hmm. And I'm not about to waste time going around the store looking. Okay. So when I see Miss Jolinda, I called her and I told her to come on out just to visually see mm -hmm. what I have been going through. I said, so y'all won't think that I've been moving slow because mm -hmm. we had a little break yesterday and I finished on time before one o'clock, two o'clock. Mm -hmm. If that. So I told her that was the first manager that I seen. I said, just so y'all won't think that I'm sitting here playing with the stuff on the aisle. Then a lot of the stuff was already overstocked from the stuff that we put up from yesterday. So I was looking to make sure the top stocks, I'm about to put a whole box out if they have stuff at the top stock. The stuff for top stock, the stuff is not in this right zone. So I have to go look, probably look at one for stuff that's all the way in 17. So maybe if somebody would have came checked on me, then that would have been known. Okay. That's what I'm saying. As soon as I seen the first manager, I told her that I shouldn't have to see. As soon as I see all three of y'all, oh, hey, Ms. Jalen, this was going on. Hey, Ms. Uh, Bianca, this was going on. Hey, John, this was going on. No, y'all should be communicating it. Well, so I wasn't just lollygagging on the aisle and, and I explained it. What you asked me what I had left? At the meeting. What, what meeting? What do you have left? I was never at a meeting. You never came to the jury counter? Did not come to the jury counter. Did not come to the jury counter. Okay. All right. Can you go back to the I am honestly not sure, quite too sure on what to really think about this one. Just there's a lot of information to unpack throughout this very long clip here. And I honestly don't know if this is the type of thing I would have personally uploaded. Especially if I had a conflict with my manager. This seems... From what I can gather, there seems to be like a massive bit of miscommunication or lack of communication that is causing several issues. Apparently, there is something to do with some stock is not need to go out there, but the worker here hasn't exactly made that information cleared or bothered to go find out from somewhere else what else they could be doing. So they've been caught not particularly doing too much from what it looks like. So they've been caught in and then this type of things ensued. It just sounds like there's just a massive disconnect between from any form of communication amongst anyone here on what's actually happening in anything. Like, it just seems ridiculously stupid that there's this, this argument here. Like...
This, is, this could have been solved so much easily if anyone just talked properly and didn't focus on getting the side of thing. Like, if the manager was just open and upfront on what's happening beforehand, like, it, it, why did he need to have the other person step in and get involved and explain all this to them and then actually figure the situation out? Because it sounds like the situation comes to a somewhat of a decent conclusion by the end of this. I'm not 100% sure because it ends. So, I don't know. Wild. In this clip, we've got an interesting Karen in the store. He said I was covered. Who said you were covered? Yeah, he said you. I'm not a crit. Who? She said a crit. Oh, a crip told you you was covered. Wait. Woo! Woo! A crip said you were covered by black women? I am. Actually, I am. Okay. All right, but I'm gonna need you to act like you got some home training, some manners. Good as you. We can actually know what I am, right? Now you know what I am, right? Now you know what I am, right? I'm covered by the blood. I'm covered by the blood. Oh my goodness. Hey, let's just be all right. Oh my goodness. Don't leave me up here. What you mean? Shorty, shorty, gang banging between bloods and grips. No, I get along with them both. Oh God. Girl, you better stop I get that. along with them both. Bring your ass inside. I get along with them Please. both. Bring your ass inside. Are you Thank buying you. something? I'm gonna, yeah, maybe I gotta go sit down. No, you gotta go. Alright, then go. We don't sell it. We don't sell it. Can I buy one and come back? We don't sell it. No, you're not. Come back. Come on, get right with me, alright? Get right with you. I don't think you want me to get right with you. You'll be slowed up right now. I gotta go get oh, mine listen. too. Yeah. What are you doing with that anyway? You gotta go Showing out. proof because people like you oh, like to get what? away with shit. Oh, hey, you're a weirdo? You have, oh, Yo, you're, you're, the, you're, a weirdo you're the weirdo, ma'am. I got three videos. Now, I tried my best to find part one, but it seems like the TikTok account that these two clips were actually attached to have deleted all evidence of these things ever existing. Trust me, I scrolled through all the videos, no more of the Karen, so we've only got the part two and part three. Part one just has vanished. Either way, I've just got a few things here. Uh, either A, this person was a little bit high, a little bit drunk, or potentially has some form of mental disability that causes her to be a little weird with cues. Either way, we're not going to discriminate with that thing 
except for the fact that I'm, I'm confused on the tone of this the entire time. Is it, is it just me who thinks that the Karen was on the verge of laughing at certain points for some dumb reason? I don't know. That one was the most confu- as I said, confusing clip. I don't know what to really take from that. It was just a person being an annoyance in public, but a bit of a weird one at that. Hmm. Firstly, we've got a Karen who is overreacting slash feeling entitled about a dog or something in a situation. I have no idea about the context on this one. I've just seen this clip and it's very interesting still. Folks do any fucking thing they want to do. I'm so mad right now. That is not cool at all. She see him doing it too? The way she see him doing it ain't yep. so Yes. So now since I said something, she comes over to me, she tells me she having a busy night. I don't want to be on so that means so. I gotta get kicked out. So you tell me you're kicking I'm not me out. Asking, no, I'm so asking. you're telling me you're kicking me out because I said something about the dog. So there's me nobody out here. Could take care of you get the tables. Did I ever say I was kicking you out? No. Who the fuck is I'm you not kicking you out. Don't not fucking holler at me. me. Is that thing wrong? Okay, I'm gonna get my manager and we are gonna have to ask you to leave. So we're going to have to escort you out. Yes. Like, I'm sorry. You hear that? I hope you know who I am. I, I hope you are here. You don't I'm have to hear. It's a job to you. But your people will hear. Okay, we're going to have to ask you to leave because this is getting out of control. It's definitely getting out of control. Y'all got a fucking dog out of a cut. Okay, that was not in our control. So, so now you tell me because I said something, I have to leave. I just spent $200 and you said I got to leave? Yes, because First of all, I'm waiting for my lift. My lift is right there. I already was waiting for my lift. But you're not being polite. So, like, we're not going to have to leave. You can't something to me. No, I asked you to listen and you just kept talking. So, I said, we did not ask you to leave, but now we are. Get away from me. I love how this Karen wasn't going to get kicked out initially, but because of her continuous reaction to this entire situation, not just hearing out the worker at all, they just ended up kicking her anyway. In this next clip, we're witnessing what is going to be the aftermath of an initial Karen incident. This Karen's turned around to realize that, oh crap, she's been recorded this entire time, and her reaction is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, really? I just don't, I don't know why people have to be protected. You know what? Don't, don't touch me. Yeah, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Fine. <laughs> it's a joke. You're a sheep. You need to wake up. It is discriminating. Discrimination, my god, what a Karen. Is next up, we got a pair who doesn't like the fact that this new person at the right behind the registers isn't going fast enough for them, so they decide to attempt to quote unquote help him and cause a scene. Listen, you, not, you don't know what's going on. I try to help him, not comply. I'm not complaining to him, I just try to help him, and this line going faster. And you put your mouth in some shit, but you don't know what you have to do. You know what? Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Just do your job. No. You know what it's best to the customer. Oh my God. People stay behind you, they understand what they say. And you know. Everyone not. has to wait. You have to apologize to the lady. No, I don't. No? 185 either. Man, it's almost like new people aren't going to be particularly fast at their job and you just gotta expect them to be like that and you've just gotta be, I don't know, a touch bit patience with them and just help them along, not try and rush them through everything because, you know, the more you rush someone, the more likely they're gonna make mistakes. Maybe you're not smart enough to understand that, Karen. Astros, you lost in the World Series, and now what happened? You I'm, the I'm, old. I'm, one I'm the biggest, this is Josh's stick, I'm the biggest Astros fan in the world for six months. You lose in the ratings when the Astros win the World Series, what's now? Your Gulf Coast Regional Radio. The Josh in his, the Josh in his network. How do you know that? You don't listen. When did I say I don't listen? That's your shtick. That's your shtick. You say you don't listen. I've never okay. said I don't listen. Okay. Yeah. You clown. You're lying again. What am I lying you lie about, about that? Me calling my lawyers? I never said you. I said oh, radio you. Oh, no, no, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. You didn't. Hey, who oh, Seth and Mike and I. Oh, they're my great friends. Let me tell them why they suck. Who am I supposed to know who calls a lawyer? Well, then why would you say it? Why would you say I call my lawyer, Josh? This is the other big thing about you. This is the other big thing about Josh. This is what Josh does. Um, I'm going to pull a stunt. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go break Texans media rules where I know I'm gonna lose my credentials, and then I'm gonna claim that I'm surprised that I have my credentials pulled. You lie to your audience and then claim you have your credentials pulled because you're the most honest guy in history. You're a fraud. 
You know, I thought this was an argument over something to do with sports at first, but then it became more and more clear that both of these people either run podcasts or shows of some sorts and decide to have an in-person confrontation over something. I mean, there's probably people who are watching this who probably have more context or more knowledge about what's actually happening here. I don't exactly consider this to be a Karen thing because... Well, I, I don't. I just feel like it's just an argument between two people who are currently disagreeing. I don't know why this ended up in the Karen bin, but here we are. <laughs> Next, we have a Karen who can get precisely what she orders, so she decides to uh, go overboard and throw everything from this fast food restaurant everywhere. What the f***, bruh? Yes, self-entitled Karen, yes you can let out your baby rage here, it won't do you any good, especially considering there's a camera behind you recording your every move and will probably be sent to the police at some point in the very near future and you're probably gonna have some problems after that. But hey, that's not my problem to deal with anymore, that's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get people like this. It's just like, I'm not getting what I want. I'm going to barge my way in. I'm going to grab this crap, make a mess, and walk away. Why? Here we got someone who was going into the gas station to grab some more alcohol after just getting into a car accident. So why are you trying to buy more alcohol after you done hit my car? Can you not stop her? We just a four car accident outside your thing. You can't drink that in here. She just served. Lady. She just literally just had a four car accident outside your establishment. The cops are outside already. You see them right. right there? We just she just hit my car. Go get him and come she come just hit my car. Literally, it's a no, four hey. car accident. Oh God, it's a Let four me. car accident. Let my arm go. Fuck. It's literally an accident outside. You see the cops outside right here? Yeah. She just hit, she just hit her car, the she red car. This is what we call the alpha form of the Chad Karen. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. This is not a kind. Okay. I try to make like serious stuff like this a little bit more lighthearted by making stupid jokes, but in reality, this is someone who is clearly drunk, who's gone driving and has now caused an accident. No matter how you break it down, it's just bad. The fact that this person is unable to take responsibility for themselves in any way, shape, or form to the point where they were driving when clearly heavily intoxicated, and then are refusing to take any form of responsibility for their actions is stumbling all over the place because of how absolutely smashed they are. It's depressing because these are the type of people that kill thousands hundreds of thousands of people around the world a year because they drink way too much and decide it's a bright idea to drive their vehicle home. And well, from the sounds of it, this incident didn't have anyone dying, just a bunch of car crashes, but still, it's not fun. 
In this next clip, we seem to have a mother who is confronting a bunch of kids who are apparently harassing people inside of a supermarket outside of that supermarket, causing a pretty big kerfuffle. Grown lady arguing with 13 year olds. Are you fucking sure? It's sad you gotta back him off. A fucking girl. Oh my god. A fucking female. You guys are a bunch of bitches. Record me. I don't give a shit. Thanks for the content. Hey, thanks for the content. Hey, fucking record me. Record me because that's what you guys do. Okay. No, you guys come into the store and you cause problems and then you want to record me. In your teeth. That's the fucking problem. Why are you guys hanging out here? They have to tell you guys to fucking leave. You have four kids. Why are you yelling at Why are you causing shit? Why are you fucking stupid? We were buying fucking shit up. You were so How? How do we get it? How? How am I hood? Tell me what that. the fuck tell is that. Are you lying? No, no tell me that. Yes, I'm oh, sure. Oh, look, she's smart. Bro, you're she fucking smart. Bro, who the fuck are you? Because no I'm coming up to you and I'm no telling you, you guys are out yeah, of fucking line. You guys should come to the fucking grocery right, store and right. harass fucking people. Right. No, 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 why are you doing that? That's some why are you guys? Shit. Why are the you guys in the store that. causing problems? No one is. We no, you guys are. Too much. Why aren't you limping now? You sure were limping your way out the store? Can you not take a joke? Do you really have to? No, it's not funny kid? because you're taking shit no away from people no who one's need talking it. To you. It's ridiculous. This would not be happening if you would just leave. If record me. Okay. Bro, okay. Okay. Record okay. me. Okay. Bro, leave. Goodbye. I honestly don't give a fuck. Bro. Like this fucking we're recording kids. shit. Put me on TikTok. Yeah, your kids. Exactly. Yeah, Where are and your you're parents? saying you can beat us up. Where are your parents? Okay. Where's Where your are your parents? Where are your you parents? Where are your parents? Where are your parents? Why are you asking fucking questions? Don't answer Because you're in the store harassing everybody. And you're you guys are in the store. Goodbye. No, do not you, you were here with your families manners? and you guys okay, no i was i spent 12 stuff. fucking years in the military bitch i'm telling you i know bitch. my motherfucking manners okay i'm telling you i know my manners <laughs> and i'm telling you don't come in here trashing the store out no who are you who are you goodbye don't come in here trashing the store out you guys do it all the time yeah you are go smoke your dope somewhere else oh lame ass bye bye Go no, fuck. really, get the fuck off the property! You're the one who's the You know, look at this situation, just see everyone loses here. Clearly the kids were doing something they probably shouldn't have been, because I, I wouldn't expect someone who is a mother of a bunch of other kids, from what we can gather from what's happening in this clip, she apparently has kids of her own, she probably feels like that these kids are doing some stupid shit and should be told to just be better. But at the same time, I don't see why you're wasting your time getting involved in an argument such as this one either. I get it. These kids are probably being complete and utter assholes because that's just what a lot of teenagers do nowadays. But at the same time, you don't win in this situation because they're just going to record you going off at them, take it, post it online, get a few viral hits, and then move on with their day and keep doing the same thing that they were doing before. Maybe she was just hoping they would see reason at the end of the day. Ultimately, I don't think they did considering they posted this online with the original text being like, Oh, a bunch of, you know, a grown adult arguing with a bunch of 13 year olds so yeah here we are